So in this problem, we're told a child in a boat throws a 5.7 kilogram package out horizontally with a speed of 10 meters per second. Calculate the velocity of the boat immediately after, assuming it was initially at rest. The mass of the child is 24 kilograms and that of the boat is 35 kilograms. So basically what we have here is this boy, he's in this boat and we know he's gonna throw a package this way with a velocity of 10 meters per second. And we're gonna be finding the speed that the boat and the boy travel essentially. You can think of them as one unit and they're basically gonna be traveling as a result of throwing this. And so you should know that if you throw something this way, there's gonna be, uh, you're gonna travel this way. So that's just the general idea. So we know that uh, by throwing this, he's gonna travel in the opposite direction at some speed. We don't know what that is. That's what we're gonna solve for. And so the reason that happens is by uh, momentum. So the formula for momentum is P momentum equals mass times velocity. So basically we're gonna use the law of conservation of momentum, which tells us the momentum from throwing this is gonna, uh, there's gonna have to cancel out. So the momentum before has to equal the momentum after. So from throwing it has to equal uh, momentum in the opposite direction. So basically we know the momentum is gonna be from throwing the package. So that's gonna be before. So I'm just gonna write M1 V1 equals M2 V2. And so the way you want to think about this is as one system. So we want to think of the mass and the velocity of the system before, and then the mass of the velocity of the system after. So if we break, uh, break it up into the beginning, right, when he throws it, we know the boat and the boy aren't moving. So the mass and velocity of them, right, you can kind of split it into three things. MA, let's say like this, let me do it like this. So we're all these, let's say this is the boat, this is the boy, and this is the package. Uh, imagine this is the system in the beginning. And then we know the system after he throws it is just going to be, since we're looking at the speed of the boy in the boat, is just the boy in the boat. So let's say C is the package. It would be MA V final plus MB V final. And so what you should know is that the velocity of the boy and the boat aren't moving in the beginning. So the only thing that has momentum on this side is the package. So we know that the momentum of the package has to be equal to the momentum of the boy in the boat after, uh, after it's thrown. So MA and MB, this is the mass of the boy in the package, times, and they're gonna have the same velocity, and the reason that is is because uh, they are the same thing. So labeling these as V, we're kind of inaccurate just because they're different values, but they are, they are zero. So these do have the same velocity, but this was a different value. Uh, because this was 10 meters per second. But the, the main idea is just that the momentum from the package has to be equal to the momentum of the boy in the boat. And that's how we're going to use it to solve this problem. So the momentum of, or let's just say, uh, the momentum of the package, right? So it would be MP times V is equal to the mass of the boy in the boat. So this is the child, and then this is the boat. So MC plus MB, because they're one thing times their velocity, whatever that is, and I'll call it V final. So if we want to solve, we would just divide by this. MC plus MB. So V final is basically uh, the mass of the package, which was 5.7 times its velocity 10 divided by uh, these masses added up. 5.7 times 10 divided by 24 plus 35. And you should get, let me do that again actually, sorry about that. Yeah, so you're gonna get it equals point, yeah, point 0.966. So let's just say about point 0.97, or we'll just round it. 0.97 meters per second because this is velocity and so we know it's going to travel in the opposite direction because that's what happens when you throw a package but yeah so the main takeaway is that when you throw something like this you're going to travel in the opposite direction and that the momentum from throwing it has to be equal to the momentum after by the law of conservation of momentum uh, but yeah so your answer is going to be 0.97 and hopefully you found this useful